So I know I wasted 24 minutes, but I actually forgot a very part, very important part of the vlog. The documentary comes out on Monday, the Netflix documentary is on Monday morning, Monday night in the US, I don't know. Sometime on Monday, maybe at midnight, US, so in a few hours. Um, just unraveling the mystery of Satoshi. So they'll talk about Bitcoin, encryptions, cypherpunks, etc. All the guys, will they mention Hal Finney? So the new guy they introduced is Len Sossaman. Apparently no one ever heard of this guy. There were so many cypherpunks back then. But looking back at all his tweets, he's like, oh, so this thing called Bitcoin exists. What is it? Oh yeah, it's not digital money. It's distributed ledger technology, it's blockchain technology. And then he said, oh, Silk Road, there's a site where you can buy drugs and anything called Silk Road back in 2011, he tweeted about it. So it seemed like he was just a guy looking in, like he might've dabbled in Bitcoin, but he really didn't help build it. And everyone, everyone knows how Finney is the most likely candidate because he was the first one to receive a Bitcoin transaction. What do you do? You set up two wallets, send it to yourself. Why wouldn't you have two wallets if you design the whole Bitcoin or were the main guy behind it? Or ever, a lot of people think it was a group of people too, but why wouldn't you send it to yourself? So, and Hal Finney also died in 2011. He had a tweet that said running Bitcoin in 2010. Um, he was the only one who tweeted like that. So obviously, well, maybe there's other people that haven't been discovered, but the first guy to receive a Bitcoin transaction obviously is the most likely candidate for Satoshi. Yeah, I think he died of uh, neurodegenerative muscular disease. Maybe, uh, I forgot what it was. Multiple sclerosis or something like that. And he didn't leave the private keys to his wife, or he did. And she doesn't want everyone, anyone to know about it, but I'm sure, how could she have those billions and not do anything, just have them for years? So maybe they threw out the computers, they sold them, they, they took them apart, but the uh, Bitcoins in the, the Genesis wallet, I think it's like 1.1 million Bitcoins or something. It's never been moved before, okay? These Bitcoins have never been moved. He sent a little bit back and forth the first year or two, and then after it just went cold. I don't, I don't, I don't know the exact date it went cold, but at least ten years ago. Come on, come on. So anyway, this Len Sossaman, it pumped like 15 million market cap, something crazy, or or his cat did, I don't know, Len Sossaman's cat, but this Len Sossaman, it was just crazy, and then it retraced, and then there, there's a poly markets, will they, re, will HBO, oh sorry, it's on HBO, not Netflix, so yeah, maybe over midnight, will HBO reveal that Len Sossaman is Satoshi, yes or no, it was at 50% for yes, so even odds, but it's just at the end, they're going to say, we think this person is Satoshi. And the name comes across, like, based on the, the interviews, the evidence of cypherpunks. Like, dude, it's obviously how Finney's the most likely can. I actually read an article about the show, just a brief five paragraph article. And at the bottom, it said, how Finney's the most likely candidate. Duh, because he received the first Bitcoin transaction. So go ahead. And if they, if Len Sossaman killed himself in J July 2011, if you days after his last tweet. So why would he kill himself? Obviously, I tweeted this out because he didn't invent Bitcoin. He had the technology, he was in the groups where they're develop developing encrypted transactions. And he had the opportunity to create it and he's not, and he didn't have any Bitcoins. Maybe he sold his Bitcoins early that he had and or they weren't in 2011, they were only worth a couple bucks each. I think they, he tweeted that they did hit $17 at one point. So yeah, not what they were, but I doubt he had hundreds of thousands at the time. If he did, he would have spent them like, 
I don't know anyone that kills himself right after becoming rich or a year after becoming rich unless something significant happens. Death in the family or they lose all their money. So that, anyway, that's something to look out for, but definitely a Len Sossaman. And then there was a soul one. Someone sent it to me at 260K. This is the original one from two months back, or from June. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have money in this photon wallet. Everything I bought and sold goes to zero. And I checked and it hit two million like an hour later. And I'm like, ah, should have bought it. So I missed uh, an 8X. So anyway, that's the Len Sossaman Bitcoin documentary. So I'll upload this as a separate vlog. Come this way. It's four. Oh, look at those big doggies. Come this way. 